Hello and welcome to TradingFloor.com's weekly commodity update. Erratic global weather conditions were a key theme in 2010 and it looks to continue in 2011 as record floods have hit the Australian state of Queensland. And to cover this and the regular update of gold, oil and grain in the commodity markets is Ulla Hansen on the Saxo Bank trading floor. Hello, we are now into the second week of uh, 2011 and uh, we already seen the market starting to uh, show a bit of stabilisation after the sell-off we had uh, early last week on these prices. And uh, if we just turn to um, if we just turn to the next page here, we can see the uh, United, Nates, United Nations uh, Food and Agricultural Association. They uh, released their December figure for, for food index um, just uh, last week. And if we see the blue line here, which is going back five years, we've seen this dramatic rise in, in food prices um, over, the, over this period of time. We had the, uh, the, the last peak back in 2008 where we uh, all remember food rise and, and uh, problems in, uh, among emerging economies. Since then we, we come back and now just over the last few months we've seen this market rally, prices rallying very strongly. This is causing inflationary pressures. Um, inflation now in emerging markets is already running around 10% and that's looking to increase further. The reason why it hasn't caught the same kind of headlines this time around so far at least is the fact that we if we just look at the red line that the uh, the red line is very important component which is cereals which comprises re rice and wheat and uh, we all know the rice uh, is a stable diet for three to four billion people and and this is so far still sitting below the highest back from 2008 uh, something like 14 percent so this is really the, the one worth keeping an eye on in over the coming months but uh, there is an inflationary pressure coming in from uh, food prices as, as these pr price developments clearly show. Just on a finishing note, just as we looked at the agricultural sector and the price rise we've seen, it's very important to, uh, to mention the weather, which is uh, really one of the main reasons for uh, some of the uh, steep rises we've seen over the past six months. And just now uh, we, we, we're all watching the, uh, the flooding in Queensland and Australia, which has uh, left coal prices at, uh, at a two-year high. And um, it just illustrates that the, we're having these adverse weather impacts across the globe, and uh, that's something uh, that's going to be very important to, uh, to follow as we move uh, further into 2011. It will have a big impact on agricultural prices. And you can keep updated with commodities from ULA on tradingfloor.com slash commodities. And you can also follow us on Twitter at tradingfloor.com. Thank you and we'll see you next time.